Hello and welcome back. Tonight we're going to be repurposing a leftover chicken carcass from tonight's dinner into one of my favorite comfort foods, chicken soup. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is take all of the good meat off of the bones along with the skin and separate the two. So what I'm going to do is take about a tablespoon of olive oil and put it into my pot on the bottom. Put that off to the side. And then I'm going to take my bones and my skin that I'm peeling off the carcass chicken and put those right in with it. Literally every last bit goes right into the pot or into the good meat pile. So I've dropped in about a tablespoon of butter. I'm stirring it up and we're basically just trying to brown it up and get as much of the flavor out of the bones as we can. And I'm just going to keep stirring it intermittently for about 10 minutes. Okay, that sound means we're at 10 minutes. You can see that we're nice and brown. You can clearly see down here on the temperature that we're still about medium, just uh, simmering along, but browning up our bones and browning up our fat, getting a nice little crust there on the bottom of the pan to cook our soup in. So the rotisserie chicken that we had came with carrots and broccoli. I'm not going to let those go to waste, and I'm just going to chop those up real quick. And you can see that my knife skills are nowhere near professional. I am just your regular, everyday fat guy at home that likes to cook. So that's about two whole carrots, two whole pieces of celery, the leftovers from the dinner, and, which is a little bit of broccoli and a little bit of carrots, and then about a quarter of an onion. Oh, that's looking delicious already. And now I'll just let uh, that mix simmer up a bit for a bit, maybe a few minutes at medium heat. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, eight to ten cups of water. So it's been a few minutes, and as promised, here's our eight cups of water. Try to loosen up some of the crusty stuff on the bottom. Now I'll go ahead and crush in some garlic cloves. Again, to your liking. Oops, I just dropped a whole one in. No problem by me. I love garlic. Keeps the vampires away and keeps me healthy. Then, of course, what recipe is complete without your 12 secret spices? These are the favorites that I like. Everything from uh, oregano to hot pepper flakes. You know, just put whatever you like in your soup that makes you feel good. It's your comfort food, so make it comfortable. Okay, so our actual soup stock is now simmering. I'm going to leave it for about an hour boiling. Every now and then I'll just scrape a little bit of the fat off the top as it comes up. And I've got the rest of my good chicken over here covered up that we're going to put in and put together with the broth once it's all cooked. So we're about halfway through our uh, 60 minutes. It's boiling pretty good. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit, just under medium, just so it uh, is barely boiling. Okay, my broth has been simmering and boiling for about an hour, so I'm going to now strain it into this pan. Look at all that goodness. Well, the broth is all strained, so let's give it a taste. Oh man, perfect. Hello, and we are back. It is the next day, if you can't tell, and we are ready to make our actual soup from the stock that we made from the leftover chicken last night. I'm going to turn that celery carrots, and onions with a little movie magic into... So there you go, about a third of an onion, three carrots, and about six uh, stalks of celery, instantly chopped up. Because really, who the hell wants to watch me chop vegetables anyway? I do, I do. Here's the base that we created last night for our soup. We're gonna take it over and pour it into our pot for today. And in no particular order, I'm just gonna scoop up my celery and slowly drop that into our pot and come over and scoop up the carrots slowly drop those in and then the onions and whatever's left on my cutting board all scooped up and right into the pot i've got the chicken out of the fridge where it was sitting overnight gonna stick that onto our cutting board real quick okay now we've got our chicken all chopped up just gonna scoop it up with my knife and drop it into our mix so you want to keep tasting your soup all throughout the process, and if it needs a little bit of anything, just drop a pinch or two in. In this case, it needs some salt. So there we go. It's really starting to look like a delicious homemade chicken soup. I'm going to let it boil here on the stove for about 30 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and put in the noodles to finish it up. So I gave the soup a little taste, and there's something missing. A little bit of wine. And the general rule of thumb is, if you wouldn't drink it, don't bother putting it in your food. Okay, so our base soup and our chicken is done. Now we're going to go ahead and add some noodles. I'm going to put in about a half a bag and we'll see how that looks. You can use whatever kind of noodles you like. I like these uh, wide noodle style pasta. 
And then I'll let that boil for probably about 10 to 12 minutes and then give it a taste. Okay, so our soup is all done. We're gonna take it out of the pot and prepare it to be served. Before we do, I'm gonna use my bruised dish towel here. As I mentioned before in our videos, we get these from all over the world. This one was from a trip that we took to uh, Bruges in Europe. It's a pretty fun place. There's some movie about it. I would not watch it. It is a piece of crap. <laughs> Okay, there's our chicken carcass soup. Now what I like to do is just finish it off with a vegetable cracker on top and then some cheddar cheese. Only one thing left to do, and that's give it a taste. Mmm, so good. First of all, it's gonna make a great lunch, and then the rest of it's gonna go into the freezer for when I'm not feeling good, and that will definitely hit the spot. 